Don't forget, I'm still accepting names for the monthly draw. If you want to enter the draw, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. All I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, I've got some real nice prizes. They'll be posted off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I've got four bolts here to modify. They're half inch ULF, high tensile bolts, be good material. I want to turn them to four and three eighths, take that end down to three eighths, and put some three eighths on C threads on the end. Got five eighths of plain and the rest threaded. So we'll mark the four and three eighths, and then see what it machines like. This lad always gives us drawings in Imperial, 4 and 3 yets. Which is there. I'm going to use a collar chuck just because it's easier for me. With the camera. To get better shots with a collar chuck on. I haven't got the bolt with the chuck spinning around. Right, that's what I'm marking this decent mark we can see. Spanner. I've got two of the bastards now, man. It is 3750. So, take the threads off first. See that spot on three eight. Put a little shunk on the end to help the die start. to do a couple of signs by our local model engineering society the signs are about a metre wide and they're in two mil stainless steel now bits of stainless steel that size aren't cheap so what I've done I've done a I've cut it out just to sort of prove the drone and this little bit of video clip here shows it been cut out of two mil mild steel and I'm sure you'll agree it turned out very nice I only hope that when I get the stainless steel it turns out exactly the same
When I was a young lad, I always wanted one of these, a Mammoth Steamroller. I had stationary engines and I had the marine engine, but I never actually got a chance to have one of these. Now I'm not a young lad, I can basically have anything I want. And this was on eBay and it wasn't a great lot of money. I put a bit in for it and I actually won it. Uh, it doesn't like it's had steam in it for quite some time. It's in good condition, it just wants a real good cleaning. Uh, everything's nice and free. There is some fuel pellets with it, so I think I might as well try and get it going. There's a little, little burner in there that takes solid fuel pellets. I'll take that off. A little whistle. There's a Ford reverse lever there. There's a little, little safety valve there. They don't run a great high pressure. Looks like it's leaking from, I've been leaking from, there's a little seal on there, so I'm going to try and find a new seal for that. It's come with a collection of accessories, a funnel, some proper Mammoth lubricating oil, fuel pellets, I don't know why the Hermitite's there. Golden Hermitite, I've used plenty of that in my time. There's some dry bands. Quite sure what they're for. And then we're in. So that's basically what come. Bring the safety valve and the, the seal is nothing left of it, so we need to find a new seal ring for that and clean the top of that up. I've got a collection of o rings and seals, basically, bits I've kept out of engine, gasket sets, on the headsets. There's never anything in here that fits anything, I just sort of keep them. Ideally I want a fibre washer, something like that. These are all too small, I'm going to have to try and make the hole a little bit bigger than one of them. I found a small o-ring, it'll go on there. I'm going to put some water in the boiler, I'm going to use warm water. Uh, because obviously it takes less time and less heat to boil it. I've got a nice little mammoth funnel. That is a water gauge on a side glass on the back of there. Put some hot water into it. Right, I move it around, you can see the water basically halfway up the glass. And screw the little safety valve back in. These little simple oscillate, oscillating engines have a safety valve on there, but the sunlight is also held onto a valve plate there by a spring. So if the pressure does get too high and the valve doesn't work, it simply blows the sunlight off the off the block. But it's a simple spring with a safety valve, it shouldn't give any problems and it is free. These are the little few pellets. I hope the boom. They'll be quite old these. I'm not quite sure what they're made of. The engines are hard, used to run on methylated spirits. Yeah, they're on fire, there. One's on fire, anyway. I'm setting the, the bench on fire with the methylated spirits. I don't know how many today's kids I would trust with something like this. Anyway. Okay, so that's in there. Wait for it to warm up. When it's warmed up, we'll just put a little bit of light oil on the various moving parts.
little single cylinder oscillating steam engine very simple but they work quite well they run nicely got a whistle as well I'm starting to get warm I can feel the heat there is some drive bands that go from the end of the crankshaft onto the wheel and there's a big long rod that goes onto here so you can steer it as you it's moving around things are starting to happen Got that methylated spirit fire smell, I remember. I'm just gonna clean this, it's it's in too good, good a condition to strip down and to refurbish, it's just nice the way it is, it's been used. I don't suppose I run it much once it's once it's been used. You can buy a, a pressure gauge to go in the inside of the whistle. Right, I think we've kind of got some steam pressure up now. Oh, here it goes. Oh, you can actually control the, the rim with that little regulator on there. And it gives you a backwards as well. I remember getting burnt when you You can actually see the water boiling in the back of the, the side glass there. I think the fire's dying right down now. The last bit of the steam left. It's only a small after that. Right? Yeah, it's a way to sleep now. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I have managed to get 75,000 subscribers. Um, still a long way off 100,000, but I'm sure with everybody's help, I'll get there. As always, thanks for all the kind words and well wishes. And from me and my family, a massive thanks to everybody who's going to work, keeping the country running, keep us all safe. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.